So, my name is Ingo Dombrovsky. I'm the key account manager for Europe, working here with Roby on ASE Show. Now I would like to talk about the RoboSpot, one of our products that is very successful. So, why should you have something like this? The idea behind this is there are people sitting in a seat in the truss, um, being fixed there in the truss for some hours, and then um, you cannot move, you have to sit up there, it's not a very nice job. And we are having moving lights, we are producing moving lights already since the time, and this is now the system to connect this two together. So this frees the operator from its seat that's fixed up there in the ceiling and now he can operate somewhere, it can be anywhere. It can be in the ceiling, in the cellar, it can be behind the scene, it can be outside. So what you see here on the monitor is the picture that the, that the camera up there at the light provides. And I can dim it up now so you can see here on the monitor we can see where the light points. And when I touch the handles and move it, then the light moves with it. So basically, this is already the idea that's behind it. So now we have somebody that can remotely operate the follow spot. So we can point it. We can follow the actor. So, a follow spotter does not only have to operate um, the movement of it, he has to operate very often the dimmer. So we have here the dimmer on that fader. And on this side we have assigned the iris, that's what also a follow spotter is doing. But actually you can assign anything to these faders like you want them to be. So we have more scroller wheels here. You can assign whatever you want to that. For example, on this one we're having the zoom. If it's on, now it's not on, now it's on. No, it's a H. Well, this one is the zoom. Well, sorry. So, and when everything that a moving light has, like colors and gobos and framing or whatever, you can still be operated. Everything that I'm not operating on the controller, on the RoboSpot controller, can be operated by the console. So that was our simple idea at the very beginning. And then customers asked us, can you do, for example, not only one light? Yes, we made the software that way. In the meantime, you can operate 12 lights. We called it Mighty Device Control. So you can operate 12 of the lights simultaneously with this one. Um, RoboSpot, so it's only one operator for 12 lights that you would need. And you could then release, let's say, 11 of the 12 lights to be a standard moving light again, how you want it. That can be assigned by the desk that is connected to the RoboSpot. Then we've been asked for TV use. Can you limit the dimmer so that the, the operator on the, on the RoboSpot cannot mess up my uh, my dimmer value so otherwise it would look really bad so of course we limit the dimmer with the value that comes from the desk and we can send from the desk um, for example that now the complete thing is active or it's inactive we can tell the desk now to tint the color of the spot in a nice pastel color or an intensive color so that those automated functions that you usually want to have um, is, are not done anymore by the follow spotter. The follow spotter just follows, adjusts the iris and everything like this. But talking about the iris, for example, if you have many of them and you want, to want all the spots to stay the same size, it can be done automatically. You can even map the dimmer because when the actor is getting closer to the, to the uh, light, it would then be um, in a brighter position. So actually when you move to the very front, then the dimmer applies, the light dims down and, can, and maintains the same lux value on the person. Yeah, there are many more things about this. You could tell how to adjust it, how easy it is to operate. So 
best is you have a look at the website or you really find somebody of our sales team. But the website is www.robe.cz. Thank you.